At 10, as we come on air, the jury in Donald Trump's hush money trial has reached its verdict. The former president is accused of falsifying business records to cover up a payment to a porn star. Welcome to World News America and our breaking news. A reminder, this is an historic trial. The first time in history that a former or current U.S. president is facing a criminal trial. Over the past six weeks, we have been watching this trial unfolding. About our correspondent, Netta Tofik, has been following all of the twists and turns of the last six weeks of this trial. And I think we can go to her now to speak to her about what's happening. Netta, just bring us up to date, this flurry of activity the last 10, 20 minutes. Yeah, absolutely, Sumi. And we have just heard that the judge has announced that he will call the jury in. So we are just moments away from the jury, the jury four person, uh, reading out uh, whether they have found Donald Trump guilty or not guilty on the 34 counts that he faces of falsifying business records in the first degree, a felony. And Sumi, then the other jurors will have to agree on the findings of those counts. Sumi, I can just tell you, Donald Trump has been found guilty on count one. Donald Trump, the first former president to be convicted in a criminal trial. This is a historic moment. This wow. is a monumentous moment in U.S. politics, a defining one. Donald Trump continuing to shatter the norms of the nation's highest office. Donald Trump found guilty on count one, Sumi. We are going through the rest of those counts, uh, but already uh, this is uh, uh, absolutely historic. Donald Trump uh, losing this case the jury finding the prosecution proved beyond a reasonable doubt that he tried to corrupt the 2016 election by creating a conspiracy and then falsifying business records. Well, to cover Neda Taufik now, uh, who's also standing by in New York for us. Neda, I mean, Donald Trump, he came out after those verdicts and he said that this was a conflicted judge, that this was a rigged, disgraceful trial. And he's pointing to the fact that um, this whole thing has taken place in New York, where he's had a lot of legal issues. Yeah, well, Clive, that has certainly been Donald Trump's talking point from the beginning, going as far as to say that this case was directed out of Joe Biden's Department of Justice, which is just simply untrue. Donald Trump has been found guilty on multiple counts. We will bring you all the reaction to this historic moment. Good evening. This is one of the most extraordinary moments in modern American history. In the last half hour, the 45th president of the United States of America has been found guilty on all counts in a hush money trial. He is now a convicted felon. Here with me throughout the show, Lee Kane, Boris Johnson's Director of Communications, and Lewis Goodall from the News Agents podcast, and obviously also our political editor, um, Nick Watt, we were obviously thinking we'd be talking about the election, but first let's go straight to Neda Tofik, BBC's North America correspondent. She is outside the courtroom. Uh, Neda, can you tell me what it's been like in the last half hour? Howard Kersey, you could probably hear the helicopters, the news copters circling above me on either side of me. Uh, the news media bringing this momentous news to the world, a historic decision by the jury after just 11 hours of deliberations. Donald Trump was sat in the courtroom and was sat straight, looking forward, staring forward, quietly, calmly as the jury read out that he was guilty on all 34 counts. And Donald Trump embraced...